Moving like the speed of sound He can keep on the ground what is going on guys, Brethren here, and welcome back to another video. So 4G Studios just tweeted out the full changelog for title update 13, which is a bug fix. So we have the full fix list. Of course, I'm going to go over this with you guys, but if you would like to check it out for yourself, a link will be in the description below so you guys can do that. So getting into the fixes, guys, as you can see here, we have fix to generate experience orbs when breeding animals, fix for zombie AI when in a house with the door closed, Fix for Ocelot and Chicken AI problems causing head to spin around. Fix for Ocelot tooltips not properly showing the actions available. Added sound for hitting Ocelots. Fix the graphical glitch with fences. Fix the graphical issues uh, with upside down pistons. Fixed water in cauldron to be still not flowing. Fixed world generation problems with seeds. Uh, example journey added message saying you can spawn enemies in peaceful mode raw fish is no longer removed from the player's inventory when trying to tame an ocelot in creative mode water will no longer be removed from a water bucket when filling a cauldron in creative mode fix for missing text in message when a player is killed by an iron golem fix for player shadow being displayed in the inventory menu fix some lighting issues Fixed an issue with light and fire remaining after a lightning strike. Made jungle wood stairs flammable. Fixed silk touch not working on glass blocks. Fixed for underwater filter when camera collides with blocks. Added an option to hide a mashup pack theme world in a saved list. An option to unhide all in settings menu. Increase the minecart speed to double the normal speed. That's going to be pretty interesting. Fixed some redstone lamp issues. Chests won't open now if a cat is sitting on them. Added a limit to the number of villagers spawned by breeding. Added the hearts displayed when villagers enter love mode. Fixed a problem with the rain sound not playing in some biomes. Fixed for reappearing ores, lava, and water after mining if they are within 5 blocks from the world's edge. Fixed spawn positions in a save mashup pack world. Fixed issue with a map placed in an item frame revealing the position of all players despite in-game gamer tags have been disabled. And last but not least, the Minecraft store now displays the prices in the local currency rather than Microsoft points. So anyways guys, this wraps it up for the TU13 bug fix full change log. Of course, like I said, if you'd like to check them out for yourself, I will have the link in the description below. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do give it a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome, guys, and definitely help share the video around. When there is more information on a release date as soon as this does get out of certification testing and uh, is able to be released to the public, I will definitely upload a video on that for you guys. Be looking to some awesome TU14 videos coming out this weekend. And and yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see your face in the next video. Peace out, guys.